I am Jacqueline Brand, trained social worker who's also the guidance counselor here at Haile Selassie High School. This is our annual health fair and it is sponsored by Rastafari TV, Jaja Foundation and Dark Foundation where they focus on doing athletic screening for our athletes, whether this year it's our badminton team. They're doing medical for our students and dental. There's also motivational talk that was done by Kevin Wallen to a group of students this morning and Suzette Henry that spoke to a group of our students to motivate them to do better, to achieve better. So it's, it's, it's psychosocial, right? So it's psychosocial ed, um, and, and medical that we're doing. We're looking at the whole man. We, we notice that a lot of our students are not complying with the request of doing medicals every year. And here we have an organization of Jamaicans returning from Canada, US, and some of their friends, some of them who are not Jamaicans, who come here every year and we ask them if they can assist us where that is concerned to ensure that our students are healthy. Um, it, it's important to, to move towards taking care of yourself because we discovered this morning that one of our students has a heart problem, which we didn't know before based on the assessment that was done by the doctor. So she's be, that, that student is going to be referred. We have a psychiatrist on board who is looking at, at what is happening to the psyche of our students as well. Okay. So uh, we, we have partnerships with our staff, and we're, we're making it a little bit different this year. We're, we're, we're cutting off at a particular point to allow our staff to also be seen, because if our staff is not healthy, they can't deliver to the students either. So they've added an OBGYN because we have more female staff members than we have male staff members so persons can get to see the gynecologist right. um, where there's going to be a massage section after school for any staff member who wants to take use of that facility right. so that's what is happening today um, we have students who are from a low socioeconomic um, status we have students who have experienced violence. They have seen persons um, killed by the gun. They have experienced numerous, in terms of hearing gunshots. They have, have had experience of, of, some of our students at some point in time have been recommended for examination and have not been able to sit those ex exams because their parents are not able to finance those exams. Um, we have a, a health, an insurance, a health a insurance program here where some of those students are not even registered for that. So we have persons who are in need, but we have some very brilliant students who have achieved in spite of the odds because the head boy for last school year got the top grade in this division in terms of his, his, his results and our head girl also, she got grade one. I can remember in English language, she got five subjects. And she's she, herself and two others, a couple of other students have received scholarship from Exit Community College. So in spite of the odds, our students have been able to achieve successfully based on, despite the challenges that they encounter. Immediate need is that we have roofs that need to be fixed. From the school has been open, 1969, the roof that we have has still been there. Right now our library is closed off because it's leaking. Our guidance department is having problem because it's leaking. The maths department is closed because it's leaking. And we are already short of, of rooms for, for, for teaching our students. So really we need to have a real complete overall of the roof of our school. And that's our major number, number, number one need. Our second need is that we want to get, um, get a, a school bus. To, to take our students on, on educational trips and, and our footballers, our badminton team, um, for, for exposing them. We have to pay quite a, no, a lot of money for transporting our students to different events, and, and we, that money could be elsewhere. Those are our two major, need, major needs. Um, the roof of our school needs to be fixed, and our, we need to get a school bus. Right. So anybody out there who wants to assist us with those things, 
um, donate money to get the, 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 the material for the roof, donate their time, donate their money to help us to buy a bus. We really, really, really are calling out to you to help us in this one. It is a worthwhile initiative to have all these people come. Um, I've seen faces that I've seen in the past three years come back. Um, they, they have quite a, a cultural experience in terms of, of this, the, the conversation that they've had with our students, in terms of the fact of how respectful our students are to them, how well-mannered their, our students are. They were very appreciative of that fact. Um, so that cultural exchange between individuals, some of them Jamaicans who have lived abroad for quite a number of times, some of them who are not Jamaican, who have lived in Canada or, or, or the U.S. And, and are willing to come and take their time to come and, and give service. And our students and staff members are very, very appreciative of this. Hi, I represent Rastafari TV Network. We're a heritage depository in Fort Lauderdale. And we saw the need of the school that His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I built in the 60s. It's fallen on disrepair and getting, um, it's grossly underfunded by the government. So about four years ago, we became in, um, stand in service to the school. And three years, I called Dr. Dixon, my virgin here, my wonderful friend, and said, Doc, I know you did a mission for change with Jaja Foundation. Haile Selassie High in Painland need a health fair. He did not hesitate. That's the type of person he is. And he said, sure. And three years ago, we put it on the roster. This is our third annual, and we're having a wonderful time. You know, it's a lot of work, the logistics, but we need a community, and we invite them to come out and, and help. To clean up the school, we like to restore it to a green school. Sustainability, we've presented a curriculum for sustainability with the principal, which he's accepted, and, 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 and willing to work with us to form the curriculum. Well, it was a very simple um, formula. We find people who we think have integrity and who want to do good for the community. Uh, so I knew uh, Sister Fanai, I knew her for years, so I knew where her passion lied. And it's only a natural that we should form a, a collaboration, as I like to use the word collaboration, where we can work together to, to become uh, stronger together instead of trying to do things individually. So that's how this initiative was born, Jada Foundation, Rastafari TV. This is the third year, and we're looking for so much more years with the support for the people, uh, good people out there who can watch this video and support us. Last year we met someone here in a wheelchair, and her story was so touching. It was so tragic that even a lot of us started to cry. And I said, there's no way we could do this for just once a year. So since then, we've um, Rastafari TV has appointed a grounds crew where we have boots on the ground. And every single Thursday, at once a week, once there's no, um, once school is in session, someone comes here, checks on the school, checks on the garden, and that's the Mali. The Mali, um, she's doing amazing work. We're starting a composting area, even though the water and irrigation system is a big issue here. Um, our, when a, there's a, a subscriber came down, Dylan from um, Oregon. He donated the well, the tank, I mean the water tank, and the Marley Foundation donated the, food, uh, the supplies of tools and some of the medical supplies. So this is a big initiative that a lot of people in the community are waking up to, you know, giving back, especially with Haile Selassie High School. We do one school, we do all over Jamaica. Yeah, I want to say this is a very uh, good initiative. Um, Hill Selassie uh, High School, it doesn't just service Painland, it serves other communities. I saw children here from Marvely and children from Waterhouse. All the surrounding communities, they send their children here. So it's important that everyone support this. These are our children, Jamaica's children, the world's children. One love, Jaja Foundation. Indeed, we give thanks to Jaja, uh, Jaja Foundation and even the faculty of Haile Selassie High School and everyone who's been supporting all our subscribers and partners. We have proposed a one-year itinerary for 2018 field trips that were planned. Our first field trip was just this Friday at Gemnesia Surf Club. We have live lessons and we're going to be using the Outer Earth Farm in St. Catherine as one of the living live classrooms to take them from the school and onto the farm and in nature to do their lessons. So the first one was this Friday and was amazing. Info at Rastafari.tv is our email. Rastafari TV Network on Facebook and Instagram. We've been going live to track the progress for accountability and transparency. So you're welcome to be a part of us. I just want to add that these children, you know, if you hear these children's stories, you see that they deal with it a lot and they still come to school with the intention to learn but the social and economic issues that they have to deal with is more than any one child should have to bear. So we need you to support Rastafari TV and Jaja Foundation as we try to improve the conditions for Jamaicans here on the island. Thank you.